Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In our previous video, we looked at the features of Adobe XD and I hope you enjoyed that video. In today's video, we are going to design a nice interface. We are going to take one of my previous designs and redesign it in Adobe XD. In this video, I'm going to show how I copy other people's work and then give you some techniques, you know, when I'm designing interfaces. So let's go. Alright guys, so I already have Adobe XD open. If you watched my previous video, I assume you already know how to create a document in Adobe XD. Kindly watch that video if you don't know how to create a document in XD. Alright, so let's start. So like I said, we are going to redesign. We are going to design, copy this design over here. This is one of my old designs. So let's start with that. So to start, we are going to duplicate this as board over here. And I showed you a trick. You just select that and then you hold shift and alt to duplicate or you can just use ctrl d to duplicate all right so we are going to put this in one of the ad boards um, we want to be able to copy the same size of like everything here so we're going to put that i think this is okay it has rounded corners but don't mind i already um have the images here and some icons we will need so to start let's look at this design and see how it is so you can see this background here, this white background here has some kind of rounded corners here. So I'm assuming that's a shape. So the main background has this blue color. So we're going to select this art board over here and use our eye picker tool. The shortcut for that is the letter I. So we're going to pick this background here. Perfect. So now we're going to create a shape like this white one here. So let's just put this here. Perfect. So let's just put, we'll copy that and put it on this board. So let's see, let's go here and give it a radius. So like I said, we want to give this side a radius and this side. So let's use 25, 25 and put it back here and see how it is. Okay, it's good. So put it back on our main board. Put it down and something align it. All right. 375 so we're going to remove the stroke here because you can see it's disturbing the next thing i want us to do is pick the color of this white background on this ad board so we'll use our eye picker tool again and then pick this all right so that's a nice step now let's go and get this um this thing over here the 941 stuff from here you can get that from your iOS kit and all that in Adobe XD. So, yeah. Um, we change the color of this to white. You don't have to bother about where this is actually. It doesn't matter. Alright, the next thing we are going to do is... Mm, where should we move to? Alright, let's move to our navigation. Let's just create the shapes and then we'll bring in the colors and stuff. So. We are going to bring in this again and copy it here. Let's zoom in. Okay, that's 91. Let's just make it 94. Yeah. So we'll move the border again and we'll copy this. If you copy it, if you copy it from this side and copy it here, paste it here, it's going to paste at the right place because the adboards are the same size. So let's give it some kind of shadow to the top. I don't know if you can see on this one, it has some little shadow there. So let's give it, I'm going to give the X, sorry, the Y negative value. So we'll go to the top. Then we'll reduce our opacity to something like four. Perfect. This looks good. Um, the next thing we are going to do is, um, what are we going to do? Let's get this text over here. No, let's get our search by here. So, I need to put this here. And I want to remove the fill so that we can kind of see everything. So, okay. All right. This looks good. And now I'm going to round it. Perfect. So, now we can give it our fill and remove our stroke. So, Ctrl X and we'll paste it on this export. 
and again we'll give it a shadow 36 is okay and then let's make this four let me see all right this is cool all right what's next okay so now we'll create this circular shape here too it's like building the foundation of this whole design so we'll put that here we'll move our fill so that we can see the size well all right so we'll give it a fill again above the stroke place that here perfect now um let's get our text all right so let's then something new and you can't really tell which font was used so let's just go with Ubuntu. i think that's what i used i can't remember um, let's let's put this here and look at the size so let's make this 22 okay 24 all right and reduce this okay so let's just make this 26 all right i think that's okay that's okay so we'll just paste that here okay this is okay so the next thing we are going to do is get a search icon and other search text so let's just do this change this text to search change the color to black and um, let's make this regular so we'll put that here and reduce the size what is the size now 17 to 16 let's bring it here okay i think 16 is okay what do you think yeah 16 is okay so we'll put that here and we are going to do is we are going to reduce the opacity to make it look similar so you can reduce the opacity by just typing one two so if you type four it's going to give you 40 percent opacity so this is okay now i might have a plugin for icons so um what is it icons for design I kind of have almost every icon but not all so we are going to get our search icon from that side okay let's go with this so i'm going to select this at board and then get this here we'll reduce the size okay. all right this is okay now the color of the search icon is blue so we are going to select it and then give it this blue color here what do we have left here we have the certain line here and then our filter or yeah i think that's a filter icon right so we're going to create that thing like we can use our pen to our line let's use our line to to create that okay that's okay and then let's center it here and for that tool i'm going to give it an opacity of 40. all right we are making improvement so let's go for so icon for design don't have doesn't have this um icon here so i put that from somewhere else so i'm going to use that here it's quite different but it should be okay and when reducing the size kindly hold shift because of this responsive resize here if you don't you're going to do something very very ugly to your icon so We'll center align this to refuse that blue color that so let's just add that to our palette here all right then i'll select this and when we come here we'll have our blue color here that's a faster way okay nice improvement all right so let's fill this circle with a picture 
there are plugins that enables that but i'm currently not connected to the internet so we'll just pick an image from um we'll pick an image from the side so let's do a splash any random image all right okay, let's just go with this so we'll just drag and drop it here this is a very huge image so the whole shape and resize it now let's copy that and paste it here resize it we are going to select um the circle and the image and then we'll press ctrl shift and m and it's going to max it so let me just undo everything again so we'll put the image on the circle right click here and then you select max with shape all right so that's okay now we are going to this side so let's bring our icons here let's bring our icons yes we have our four icons here And I think there's this feature in Adobe XD called stack. So we can we can use stack or let's just go there. Let's do it. Let's go in camera. So we're just going to arrange this here. Move this here. Move this here. Let's lock this. Control L to lock it so that we can select all the icons and align them. Now we are going to group this and then select select stack here so now we can play with the spacing in between them so 40 60 64 let's see let's put it here and see 80 all right i think 80 does the magic so we'll copy that and paste it here and then we'll center align it all right now we can clearly see that our home button has a different color so we'll select our home button and then give it a blue color because it's the active one so what we can do is change this to a lighter shade so let's say 80 or 90 let me just a hey, 70 and um okay 60 is okay yeah all right we've made improvement now the next thing we are going to do is um we are going to create we are going to the main body of the design so we are going to create the shapes and then put in our images so we have this here and we'll remove our fill as always so that we can see what we are doing so let's look at the height 224 okay, i think it's a square so it's okay and then we'll make it rounded all right this looks good so let's give it a fill remove our stroke and then we'll move it to the start board now we are going to add all right i didn't make i didn't talk about the margins and patterns but we'll go there so we are going to give this a shadow so let's first of all move this to the left by so it's going to be 20 pixels to the left and 20 pixels to the right so i'm going to give this a shadow of um, let me see eight looks four and we'll change this to four and we'll change our blade to eight all right so the next thing we'll do is this 20 right so we'll move it wait let's come back here paste it and see where it was all right and put it here and then i'm going to create this text here your courses make it 14 and medium all right let's make it bold 
all right so the next thing we are going to do is bring in our image is this right bring it here okay the same size so we just put it here center line it on this card and then we'll add our text which is I'm making the 16 pixels and it's plain right so we'll move this to this artboard crop sorry about that so we'll move this here copy that and paste it on this artboard yep i want it to be the same so paste this image here look at okay so right now paste it here so you see we are copying like the same stuff and then we'll duplicate our text make it 14 give it an opacity of 70 is that okay okay 40 make it medium right and then make it two hours 30 minutes Twelve should do. Twelve is thirty minutes. All right. Now the last thing, I'm going to create this play, this thing over here, and then we'll make the rest of the video a bit faster. So let's make this thirty-four or thirty-six by thirty-six. Let's remove our fill. So thirty-four should do. All right. And then we'll give it, let's make our stroke size 2. And you can see there's a circle behind it, there's an orange one on top. So we are going to create two circles here. So the back one, we are going to give it a lighter shade, like something like 40. And then we'll duplicate it and increase the shade and give it the orange color. So let me just remove this so that we can copy our orange color. Alright, so we'll put this here. Now put this here. Now I'll give this the orange color for the stroke. I want to make this 1.5, it's kind of too thick. 1.5. All right, so now how we are going to get that um, look is we are going to play around with our stroke, our dashes and graphs. So let's do this 110. So that doesn't work. Um, all right, so we have this so we can increase this to 20 40 probably 50 all right and then just put it here and copy it with the other one all right okay we have it so the next thing we are going to do is look for the play icon so it's play right good so i'm going to paste that here oops increase the size put it in the middle and make it orange so i'm going to make the rest of the video faster
Okay, so I think I'm done. All right. So that's it. Very simple. And I wanted to show you guys how to um, create this kind of presentation. Or how I create this kind of presentation for Instagram. But we'll do that in another video. So I think that'll be all for today. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be happy if you could redesign this and send me samples of your work to my mail in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any question or any suggestion, please leave it in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.